In today's video, I tell you my top three and a half texture tips on Blockbench. Watch on to see how to plaster these lines on this bed model, how to create a fiery animated texture whilst using the copy and paste tool, and also how to make a very smooth jewelry. All will be explained in just a second. Right, so to begin with, you're gonna have to do a bit of looking here. You're gonna look close, but I'm gonna ask you to mostly look at this rug. So I've got this bed here. But if you look at this rug, can you see those white lines that run across there? You've also got it going across the bed, around the cat head. You've got some black ones up here and on the pillow. But mostly look at that rug because that rug is really bad. And this is what is known as a bleeding texture because if i click this it's normally when you create a texture template i click this and if we zoom that in just like that if you can see there it's kind of all of the pieces are kind of like touching can you see there's a little gap there but these two bits are touching together these bits are touching they're all touching each other right and so what that means essentially is that just a tiny 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 part of the cube is taking up a tiny tiny tiniest bit of the texture next to it leaving these really horrible looking lines now there is a way to do this it takes it so easy now all you need to do is go to the plugins page so if you click file then plugins i've already got it installed you'll see it down here it's called plaster fixes texture bleeding small white or colored lines around the edges of your model by slightly shrinking uv maps if you haven't got the plaster mod um the plaster plugin yet go to available just go into the search bar and type plaster and it'll come up as i said it's already installed all you need to do is select the cubes that you want to plaster in my case it's going to do all of them let's go into tools and then plaster it's just there. it's got a little plaster sign i'm going to go for an extra large margin i always just go an extra large unless you've got some really intricate designs and just go medium but can't go wrong with extra large and three two one let's click confirm and there you go already you can just see that looks so much better just by looking i'm going to take you back to this rug if you can see here that's completely smooth i'm now going to press ctrl z and that's going to undo what i've just done and you guys are going to see exactly what change has been made so i'm going to press ctrl z make sure you're looking at that rug and can you see that look how much it changes let's plaster it back up again gone for medium there we go it still looks pretty good ctrl z and you've got especially that big big white line there it's awful yeah that is top tip number one next up i've made this star you know for a model but i could make it look so much better talking about texturing let's show you how to make some animated textures hang on let me bring this back look at that so there's that star and there it is again this time animated and i'm going to be walking you through on exactly how to do this i've just got this it's a blank texture blah 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 blah, blah. i want to make them fire and i'm going to start off just going to have the tiniest little little sliver of fire just like so and you might be thinking oh that's a bit pathetic well so if we right click the texture and then resize texture here you can change animation frames and let's change animation frames to 10 and fill with repeat that means every frame is now going to have this fire if we were to undo that and go back to resize texture and fill with transparent then all of the other frames except number one are going to be transparent better still we can resize texture change that to eight then we can either fill with color which obviously fills with color or stretch which is a bit of a weird one it is just not worth using but essentially it kind of looks you can see there it stretches it out personally don't think anyone ever need to use that so we are just going to resize texture and it should frames for eight but then then let's go to our middle frame which is number five and this is going to be our biggest one so i am going to have like fire going up like that bam loads of fire fill that in with some orange so and i'm also then going to add a couple of red sparks coming off and then if we go back gonna make a slightly less vicious one so kind of like that i'd say and then we're going to put our embers back in so let's go back we've got three yellow ones one two three four orange ones and they're going to be in slightly different spots from before and then we're going to go a little bit less ferocious once again so essentially what you have to do is just slightly change every frame each time and then so what you can do is we can set frame time to four and that's and so that's how many ticks each frame would be so that's four ticks per frame and then so that should just go a bit slower and there you go you've got the raging fire i didn't get time to finish it so there's a little shortcut and all i'm gonna do is go to frame number four just before the biggest 
page use my copy and paste tool i'm going to copy that just by pressing ctrl c and then i'm going to go to frame six and just paste that over and there you go can you see where i'm going with this let's go to frame three copy and paste tool Ooh, put this on seven yeah and there we go look at a fight it goes up it goes down it goes back up it goes down with the embers dancing around that is brilliant so that is how you create a texture an animated texture in block bench and then utilize the copy and paste tool just to make it flawless finally i've just been recording a video which will come out a week after this one does so a little teaser but in a strawberry i'm not sure how much that helps so we are going to be making a strawberry and it's going to be a strawberry in half so that is my basic shape and then what i probably want to do is just fill it in with some like different colors like different colors of red and that is a really bad strawberry that i've used with the normal brush it just doesn't look good you can hardly tell it's a strawberry if i did a couple leaves on you might be able to just make it a little bit better there we go now you can kind of tell it's a strawberry but even still that is rubbish so let's go back to that basic shape that's not a bad shape however we are then going to select the smooth brush we have selected the smooth brush and we're going to select a lighter color and look at that it essentially it kind of like does shading for itself you know it adds some it's almost like graffiti it adds some opaqueness right so all you do is you click the paintbrush and you click the arrow just select smooth brush and our strawberries kind of have like that white piece that's kind of like dug out of them so i'm just going to create that using the smooth brush and it just blends so much better there we go i instantly just prefer that so much better i could easily add loads more detail to make it cooler i hope you guys can see just how much better that looks than before when we we're using such solid harsh lines now as it said as the name says we've got a smooth brush and it naturally blends itself with different opacities and shades and i just think it looks really really good now right yeah let's finish off the bed i can jump back in this bed remember plaster your textures go download the plugin it's literally in block bench it like doesn't cost anything it doesn't charge you it doesn't add any extra files or anything you then learn how to animate using the different settings and also the copy and paste tool and then we learn how to use the smooth brush it was in this one right here let's put the strawberry there as well so we can hold it in our hands not quite in our hand ah uh, but it still looks good i really like it and i hope you guys all enjoyed the video please like button and subscribe to help support me and i shall see you all next time goodbye